Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Lipstick Swatch family. My name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. If you have been with me, I want to thank you so much for your continued support. So I'm really excited to get this video done today because we are going to be swatching the new limited edition sets from Dose of Colors. I know you've seen these all over Instagram, so it's the stone set and the truffle set. I have to admit, they really did get me with these sets. I'm like, oh my gosh, those colors look so beautiful. So of course I had to get them for myself. I have the stone set here. So each of the sets, uh, they come with four pieces of lip products. So there's a liquid matte lipstick, a stay glossy lipstick, a velvet mousse lipstick, and I believe that's a new formula. And then there is a lip liner. And it goes for $39. All right, so this is the Stone Limited Edition set. And I believe this is described as like a dusty mauve type of color. It kind of looks like a blush color to me, but a little bit darker. So we will have to see how they actually swatch. All right, and then there you have it as well. So you have the lip liner, then you have the mousse lipstick, the lip gloss, and then you have the liquid matte lipstick in the hair as well. So first things first, I want to start with the lip liner. Let's just get that out of the way. Um, I think I'll have to figure out how to get these out. Give me a second. There. Okay, so this is the lip liner. And we'll take the top off to see. Okay, so it's a retractable lip liner and then we're gonna see just how much product is in here. And that is all we have. I thought it would be a little bit more than that. It's kind of, it's like it only goes up to here here you know so it's not that much yeah so I I can tell it only goes up to here it's not even half but up to here I'm not sure how much your lip liners go for individually but yeah they could have put a little bit more product in here I'm just gonna do the hand swatch real quick for you Right off the bat, this is super creamy. It just glided on the back of my hand. So that's the color. And then I am going to outline my lips. Right off the bat, I love how creamy this lip liner is and I can even go and blot it into my lips. So I really like how that just blends in. So far, I am impressed with the lip liner. Really nice and creamy and it just blends perfectly. Like it didn't tug at my lips or anything. It was really easy to glide on and it was really easy for me to kind of blend it out so that there is no harsh lines. So those are the kind of things that I look for in a lip liner. If it's tugging at my lips, if it's hard to blend, that's a lip liner that I do not want. I am impressed with the lip liner. So we're just gonna move right on into the next lip product. So what I want to do is try each of these individually first just to get a feel of the product by itself 
and then we are going to create a look because from what I see on Instagram, they do layer these together to get a unified look. So that's what I want to do. But first, we have to test them out individually. Um, next up, I'm just going to go right down the line. So I'm going to swatch the liquid matte lipstick. And this is what we have. I also love that the top of it is like a soft matte feel. It feels very high end. So the first swatch I have here is the lip liner. Now I'm going to put the liquid matte lipstick right beside that. Okay, so we have the lip liner and now we have the liquid matte lipstick. These also do have a very slight smell. But it's a very pleasant smell, so I'll take that. Oh. I like that the doe foot applicator has an angle at the tip, which really helps to give you a more precise and defined application. So that's really nice when they take the time to think about the ease of use for products. Like you have to think about that too. You want your products to apply nicely and you want users to be able to apply your product without challenges. I'm not sure if I'm sold on this color just yet. I think it's just a tad bit too light. Not that I can't make it work, but um, I am not so sold yet on this lip color. Right now it also feels a bit sticky. So I can tell that it's going to take a little bit to dry. Um, it's not a quick dry formula. So you'll have to be careful about that. Another thing you have to consider um, is that if you want to put another layer over this, I would suggest that you wait for it to completely dry first. So just to let you know, to give you a heads up on that, that it's gonna take a little bit to dry. So we'll just have to wait it out and see um, how long it takes to dry. Hopefully in a couple minutes time, this would be completely dry or else we can run into problems. But like I said, I am not so sold on this color. It also seems like this color emphasizes the lines in my lips and I'm not really liking that so much. It's just, it's just everywhere and my lips are dry but they're not that dry and it looks doesn't look very flattering to me right now so that is definitely not a good sign because if it's looking like this right now two to three hours later it's gonna look worse so that should be a telltale sign of how something is gonna wear and I really don't like how it just seeps into the lines in my lips um, right now so yeah I hope the other lip products are better because this one, not so much. I guess a good thing about the liquid matte is that I tried to remove it just now and it would not budge. It's really hard to remove. So I'm just gonna use my Luna by Luna lip oil to try and take it off. Because it's definitely a struggle and I don't want to tug on my lips anymore. Because that will make the dryness worse. So like I always say, use an oil base to try and remove any long lasting liquid matte lipstick. And then it comes right off. So yeah, that wasn't so hard once you use some sort of oil base to remove the, the matte lipstick. Okay, wasn't crazy about the liquid matte lipstick, but it does have a good wear time because as you just saw, it was so hard to take it off. So that's 
that's a good thing I guess for those of you who like the longer lasting lipsticks. Next up, we are at the Stay Glossy Lip Gloss. So this is what the lip gloss looks like. Ooh, this smells even better. Ah, oh, that smells so delicious. Smells like a dessert bar. Okay. And remember, these are all in the shade Stone. So this right here is the lip gloss that I just swatched. The liquid matte lipstick is in the middle, and then at the far end, we have the lip liner. Okay. Ah. Love how wide the doe foot applicator is. It's like a paddle. It just holds so much product. There is literally no need for me to go back in the tube to get more product. I love this a lot more. It really does have a creamy uh, nature to it, a creamy formula. Doesn't feel sticky. It feels it feels silky smooth and I am not new to the Stay Glossy glosses from Dose of Colors. I have like six of them here. They are definitely one of my favorite products from the brand. So I knew I was going to love the lip gloss. Um, like I said, it smells really good. The formula is of excellent quality. You don't get any lines of lip gloss when you rub your lips together. It just feels really good on the lips. As far as it being non-sticky, I will mention again, lip glosses are not non-sticky. They are going to stick to your hair. So it's all about the degree of stickiness. Some lip glosses are gonna be way stickier than others, but I don't think there's any lip gloss that exists that is not sticky. So let's just do a quick hair test. You will get some hair stuck to your lip gloss. It's not non-sticky. So it's not completely non-sticky you will get here stuck to your lip gloss it doesn't matter what price it is if it's a hundred and fifty thousand dollars or it's 99 cents you will get here stuck to your lip gloss i think what i mean by non-sticky is the feel on your lips and i i get it it's a different feeling like you can tell when lip glosses are sticky on your lips lip glosses that feel sticky you get the strings you get them collecting at the end. So those are usually thick and sticky. These are not thick and sticky. So you get that smooth application and you get that smooth feeling, that smooth hydrating feeling throughout the day. But like I said, your hair will stick to it. But with all that said, I definitely love this lip gloss. I think the color is excellent. And of course, this is gonna stay in my collection and I will get tons of uses out of this lip gloss. Cause you can wear it by itself or you can put it over a lipstick. Either way, you're still winning. So lastly, but not leastly, we have the Velvet Mousse Lipstick. I have not tried the mousse formula from Dose of Color, so I am excited to see how this actually feels. I don't detect any scent. Um, the one that had the highest scent was the lip gloss, but the liquid lipstick, the lip liner, and this one, they don't have any smell. So definitely feels moussey. <laughs> All right, so this is the last one here. This is the mousse lipstick. So you, as you can see, the color is consistent across the board. So what I'm gonna do is get this on the lips. Oh. It almost feels like one of the ColourPop's blotted lipsticks. It's so light and airy. A 
love how easily these apply and it feels completely weightless so it does feel like a blotted lipstick I do have to say I like this a lot better than the liquid matte lipstick. It's just a lot more comfortable and the lines in my lips are not emphasized as much so it makes it a lot more attractive to look at. So I definitely prefer the mousse over the liquid matte lipstick. I think yeah the liquid matte lipstick is not gonna wear very well throughout the day compared to this one so this is i would say if i had to choose between this and the liquid matte i would go with this one so what i'm gonna do now is try three of the products layered together. I saw that they did this on Instagram. So they used the lip liner and then they used the mousse. And after that, they layered it with the glossy, with the stay glossy lip gloss. And I don't think I will be using the liquid matte just because I, just because it's a struggle to take it off. And it, I just, that one is just not my favorite. So we'll stick with these three and we will see how these actually work out together. Okay, next I am going to apply the Velvet Mousse Lipstick. Oh yeah, I definitely prefer the mousse over the liquid matte lipstick. And the last step is to apply the Stay Glossy Lip Gloss. And I think this is just going to take it to another level, make it more fun. Now this I don't mind. This is definitely a look that I can rock. The colors do blend well together and more than likely this is how I would wear this set. As you can see the combo works very well. It definitely complements my skin tone. I like that it feels comfortable. I think this is a pretty low maintenance way to wear a cute lip. But this is the end result so you guys actually see what it looks like. Um, you guys can make your decision from here now. Hopefully, if you think this combo would work for you or not. Like I said, the liquid matte is not my favorite, but everything else I think works just fine. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe so that you can continue to see more lipstick swatches like this from me. By the way, I will be uploading another video on the truffle set. So make sure that you guys click that notification bell so that you are made aware of when I post that video up. Hopefully, I get it up by this weekend. But if you don't want to miss that swatch video, make sure you click the notification bell and subscribe. Don't forget to do that part as well. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next lipstick swatch video.